let's continue at this point we need to change these links if we go look at this let's click on the home link for instance and click on link and you'll see that it's still got the link in there that Google gave us okay so we need to put in our full URL now to our home page so this is your domain name and then the folder that it's in if it's in a folder so in this one it's fishing and then slash mobile remember we're in the mobile folder and then home page is index.html in this case you may have named it index.htm index.php whatever you're using there you need to put that in okay let's just copy this to make things a little easier for the next one and then how to catch fish in rivers and streams so let's fix this link let's take this index.html off the end now let's go to our folder and then let's just get the name of this. I'll just do a rename and then I do a copy and then click outside of it. This gets me the whole string and then I can just put it in here and then dot HTML or whatever extension you're using there. Okay, and then down here, let's make sure that this is pointing where you want it. Okay, so right now it's going to go to the index page. Okay, and then if we want, we can point it right to the page on our site. So if we want to do that, let's go back to our browser. Let's go to what page are we on there? We're on how to catch a fish, how to fly fish. Okay, so what we can do is get the right version here, grab the URL, go back to Composer here, and change this. And now it'll take us directly to the page if we change it this way. Okay, so rather than taking us to the home page, it's going to take it to it's going to take us to the proper page that matches this on our main site. Okay, so do the same thing here. We need home. Okay, so just change all these URL just like I showed you with the page we just did. I'll go ahead and change those. Okay, now at this point, if you want to put a smaller version of your header on, you could do that. Now keep in mind you don't want to make it any wider than 240 pixels. That's going to fit most of the newer phones. You may have trouble with older phones if they have a smaller browser in them. So it's best to leave it off, but if you want to put one in, you could convert it by using something like paint.net and putting it in there. Okay, so this is the original graphic that I'm using. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shrink it up. So I could just create a whole new one if I want, or I could shrink this one. Now, if I shrink it, I can do a resize, maintain aspect radio, make the ratio, make it 240. But as you see, it's pretty small there, but it's still readable. So I'm going to leave it like that. And then I'm going to do a save as, and I'm going to do jpeg now this is using the paint.net program so i'll do header m for mobile click ok and flatten okay so i just brought it in in paint.net and shrunk it up now let's go to our folder for a mobile site let's go back one here take header m Let's cut that, go into mobile, paste it in here, and now let's go to paint.net, and right here we'll do an image, okay, we do, click on image, and then we'll select header M, now you can put some alternate text in here, this is good for search engines, I'm not going to bother at the moment, 
Okay, so how to catch a fish, do the same thing on each site. Let's save that. So on each page, we're going to do the same thing. Click on image, click the little bar here, a little folder there. Open, put in your alt text, save. Now we'll open this. Okay. Okay, now let's position this here and do the same thing again. So image little file folder, make your header, and save. Okay, now the next thing we want to do is upload this whole work. So we go back to here. Okay, this is where our main site resides on our server. What we want to do now is upload the mobile folder. Okay, so just upload mobile. and our mobile sites up there. Now the next thing we need to do is make our mobile devices automatically go here. Okay, now that we're uploaded, let's go in here and let's change these .xhtmls to .htmls. Because our site was actually built in, X, in HTML, so make sure that we didn't get some sort of change going on here. If, of course, if it came up as HTML, then you don't have to worry about it. Okay, now let's go back to our mobile phone. Okay, and here's what it looks like when we bring it up. Now let's force it to the mobile version and have a look at that. Okay, so there is our mobile home page. Let's click on the first link. Okay, how to catch fish in rivers and streams. And let's click on how to fly fish. Okay, and there it is. Let's just roll down here just so you can see the bottom. Okay, so here it is. Now, when we click on go to the non-mobile version, there's what it's brought us up. So it's taken us exactly like it should to the non-mobile version. Okay, so that is it. That We've now created a mobile version of our site. Now, the next thing we need to do is make it go automatically to the mobile version if it detects it's coming from a mobile device. To do that you need to have an HD access file. So let's go to our website here and let's create something. Let's go back to the main site. Let's create a text document. Let's just call it HD access for now. Now before you go any further, you need to look using your FTP program. This is a program called FileZilla. And what it does is it allows you to connect to your server. That'll be on the right side and your computer is on the left side. So you just put in your host name, which is your domain name, username and password, connect, and then you can get to your server. Now what we're looking for in here is to see if we already have a .ht access. If we do, we're going to have to edit it rather than put a new one up. I don't have one, so I can use my new HT access file. So all you have to do is put some text in here. Okay, so let's open up this HT access. And I've given you this code in the documents. So all you have to do is copy this in here. Now it's checking for some things. It's checking for Android, Blackberry, iPad, iPhone, iPod i.e. mobile, webOS, Kindle, Googlebot equals mobile. So it's looking for the mobile version of Googlebot. Okay, now if you're missing some in here that you think you should be checking for, you can add them in just by putting a pipe and the next one here. So for instance, if we think we're missing something for Nook, here you go, Nook, pipe. But the one I gave you should give you the versions that you need. Okay, well, I'm just going to stick that in there. It doesn't hurt to have more. I'm going to save it. Now we're going to upload this. So let's go back here. I need to refresh. Now we're outside of the mobile directory. We're in the main directory where our website resides. So what we need to do now is upload htaccess.txt and then we need to rename it on this side 
because we can't do this in Windows. We need to make it dot HT access. Okay, so at this point, our mobile browser will automatically be directed to the mobile folder even when we try and access the main site here when we first come in. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the mobile phone and I'm just going to take all of this off the end here and then it should automatically direct us to the mobile version. So let's do that. Okay, so there's what I have keyed in. Now I'm going to hit the enter key. Actually, we had a bit of a mistake here. Before I push enter, we need to, to fix this. Okay, you'll see here that I have it going to slash mobile. We want to have it there slash phishing slash mobile. Okay, so same here. I forgot to change that, so let's do that and re-upload it. Okay, so slash phishing slash mobile. Okay, let's save this. And let's fix this now. Let's go back and upload it again. Okay, so let's delete this dot ht access that we have in here. Now let's re-upload ht access. Dot text. And let's rename that back because otherwise this is not going to work the way we want. Because I forgot to edit it. So make sure you edit it to contain the folder where you want it to be directed. Okay, now let's go back to our phone browser. All right, now let's click enter. Okay, and there it is. It directed us to the mobile site. Okay, so that's how you can create a site for mobile devices that will automatically be routed there. In the next video, we're going to show you how to make WordPress act like this.